take up is a phrasal verb and we look at six different meanings in this lesson. The phrasal verb take up is a very versatile phrasal verb and this lesson we look at six different meanings that this phrasal verb can have. As with all the other ones in this series, we'll go over to the computer, do a presentation of it so that you can uh, pause it if you need to without any distracting background noises and music and whatever. And uh, we'll go over there and come back afterwards. Take up is another very versatile phrasal verb. And here we look at six different meanings. How do we conjugate take up? Infinitive to take up, present participle taking up, the past tense took up, and past participle taken up. We use take up to accept an offer or a challenge, and here the verb is separable. Thanks for your kind offer to help. I'll take you up on that as I accept your offer. Or he challenged his sister to a race, she took him up on it and won. So that's the, the challenge that was accepted. We also use take up when someone or something occupies a certain amount of space. Uh, we can also use that something requires not just space but also time. And in this usage the verb is not separable. The new printer takes up a lot of space in the office, or as it occupies a lot of space. Well, my whole morning was taken up with a really boring meeting. So here's the time example uh, that the, this boring meeting lasted the whole morning. We also take up hobbies and activities when we start them. And here the verb is not separable. I feel a lot better since I took up jogging. So here someone has started jogging for some exercise and since doing this, I feel healthier. Or well, Paula took up judo as a child and is now an instructor. So she started this judo when she was a child as a hobby or an activity and now as an adult she works as an instructor. We also use take up when we address an issue or a problem. And here the verb is separable. I will have to take your complaint up with the manager. In other words, I can't deal with your problem. I have to get the manager. I'll pass it on to him. Or well, we should take this matter up with our lawyer. So they should address the issue or problem. We also use take up to shorten an item of clothing. And here the verb is separable. Can you take my trousers up a bit, please? They're a bit too long. Well, her dress was getting dirty, so she took it up to keep it off the floor. And if you remember before, we had take in, which was to make it smaller. And this is similar, but we're making it shorter. Right, there is a difference. And the last one is when we uh, resume an activity following an interruption. And here the verb is separable. Let's take this up again tomorrow after a good sleep. Maybe we've been spending all day trying to solve this problem. We're you know, getting tired and not getting anywhere. Best thing we can do is go home, have a good sleep, and then continue in the morning. And we say, Let's take this up again tomorrow. Well, each book in the series takes up where the previous one finished. So book two follows on from book one, book three follows on from book two, and so on. For general information on phrasal verbs, please check out the first video in this series. And there we go into a bit more detail about what phrasal verbs are, why they're confusing, um, and a, a bit more sort of general information. So check that out if you need more details on phrasal verbs. 
Otherwise, I hope you found it interesting and informative. If you have any phrasal verbs you'd like me to cover, please use the uh, comments below and I'll change my priority list accordingly. The usual thing, like, comment, share, subscribe. You, you know the drill. Uh, it's all appreciated. Stay safe and healthy. See you next time. Bye for now.